Hello everyone, welcome to the semicolon. A little bit of recap, in the last tutorial we were learning about the contractorizer to analyze text data and in this tutorial we will be looking at I TF IDF vectorizer and then go on to classify the SMS whether it's a spam or not. Let's get started and uh, I, I'll tell you the difference between them and why we need TF IDF in short time. So before that let's uh, see how we use tfidf first and uh, we need to import this vectorizer and uh, everywhere we need to just replace the count vectorizer function with tfidf vectorizer where here let's replace And let's keep stop words as English. Oh, I have. Okay, my bad. So splitting and let's check what changes there. observe this is 2 and all that now this is our tfidf so our array has become 0 0.7 0 0.7 again 0 and 0 so let's look at the feature names our feature names have reduced because i've removed the stop words now stop words are R, U, the useless words in English, which add the count and doesn't bring any feature. So our words are cool, doing, hey, hi, tutorial, shop, cool. So you can see our sentences are like this now. Uh, now what exactly is TFIDF? I would like to tell you now. So what the contractorizer did was just counting the words. Now in some cases what happens is the words are lot more like R or U or any other word which are lot in number like uh, here we have hi or hey which would be a lot in number and that would dominate our results in the machine learning algorithm so what we do is TFIDF stands for term frequency inverse distribution frequency so it reduces it puts little less weightage to this and uh, increases the weightage of words which are rare but give more feature to your uh, this vectors okay so this is what it is and uh, uh, let's write cv1 let's do this to all of it and our arrays are changed a of 0 now let's see some words are gone but pretty much the same and this is basically tfidf uh, very similar converting text to numerical data but it has go got its own advantages and sometimes a uh, contractorizer might be useful but as your corpus gets large tfidf is the best method uh, so now we are done with feature extraction of the data so now let's use our machine learning algorithm which is multinomial navy base and this is used to classify so now we are going to classify but before that I remember our training data is not in integer the zeros and ones which we put were not integer and that is why we need to be integer and this is how we convert it into integer so now what we'll be doing is just write fit like always
and our uh, classifier is done so now let's look at some predictions okay again i've made the spelling mistake let's re let's stick to pred oh my god my spelling okay okay so okay okay we have not uh, fit the we have not uh, extracted that to test data we have not extracted the tfidf features to text data yet so what we do is uh, use this this command over here and instead of fit transform we just use transform because we want the training data to form features and the test data to simply use them and uh, again we would like to predict okay not zero everything and here are predictions now let's look at how many predictions we got right and uh, we have the y test is supposed to be our supposed predictions so this is uh, okay this is a series which doesn't have two array method and that is why we have to use this method to convert it into a numpy array and this is what our actual results look like okay instead of p sorry and now like always we can just write a for loop would iterate throughout our thread array and count and that's it just that we have to initialize the count variable and that's it we have 1068 correct predictions out of these many out of this so testing the accuracy 1068 by 1115.0.0 for type casting and we have our model with 95% accuracy now you could try this with count vectorizer maybe you could get a higher accuracy with count vectorizer but uh, because this corpus is pretty small 7000 uh, this won't matter much uh, tfidf would be your best choice so this is it we have successfully classified now if you want to check an example we could use this where are the predictions you could type this and our prediction is 1 and uh, what is x so this is our text and we try to put that text here to predict and we got it 1 which is not spam so uh, this is an example of spam prevention but you can use the similar techniques to do anything. So if you like this, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to continue watching. Thank you.